Hi, my name is Federica Ambramo, and in this lesson we will talk about digital tools. Over the last decades, the paradigm shift in the educational environment has generated significant changes related to digital skills and the use of new technologies for teaching. Today, there is a clear need to deal with various complexities such as tools, software, computers, application, tablets, and so on, as well as existing pre-digital habits and new ways of communicating and learning. There is also a continuous emergence of new software products and many websites offer all kinds of teaching resources. A teacher must therefore create his or her own toolbox to help him or her to address and solve all the new issues that arise in the teaching learning process with digital didactics and new learning style. For this reason, we have divided many different tools into five main sections so that teachers have a direction to follow as they create their own toolbox according to their needs. As far as collaboration is concerned, you can of course use Google Tools for Education, a group of productiv productivity and collaboration tools which um, allows you to write, for example, in Google Docs to create PowerPoint presentation with slides and also to create a um, survey with forms, website, sheets, and so on. A great uh, tool uh, within uh, uh, Google for Education is Google Jamboard. It is a collaborative digital whiteboard available to students with their institutional student email or to individuals with Gmail account. Of course, you can use the um, Microsoft Office with uh, Teams, for example, uh, to uh, create groups and to also create room for your online classrooms. You can also use Padlet, which is a big uh, board, digital board on which you can pin all kinds of content and this allows to create brainstorming, collaboration, but also give assessments to students. And it is a very flexible tools. About creating and sharing materials, you can, of course, use Google Tools for Education, Microsoft Office and Padlet, but you can also use, for example, Canva. It is an easy to use graphic design infographic creator. There is no need for any experience to design everything you want. You can upload your own images and graphics. You can also invite collaborators to contribute to the design and then you can download any materials or share it with links. There is also H5P. Uh, it is a um, tool that make it is, makes it easy to create, share and reuse HTML content and application. H5P empowers everyone to create rich and interactive web experiences more efficiently. All you need is a website, uh, sorry, a web browser, a website uh, with an H5P plugin. There is also Flip, um, formerly known as Flipgrid. It is a video sharing tool from Microsoft that engages students in discussions throughout short video creation. You can also use Genially. Uh, in general, you can create interactive content that incorporates animation, gamification, integration of web links and other online tools. Other useful resources are website building tools such as Weebly, WordPress and Google Sites. For discussion and communication, of course, social media like Facebook, Twitter or instant messaging tools such as WhatsApp and Telegram are the easiest and faster way to communicate. But it would be better to use other digital tools within your course to protect your own privacy and your students' privacy. You can use in this sense Google Tools for Education, Flip and Microsoft Office, but there is also another tool, Blackboard. It's a digital tool that engages engage learners inside and outside the classroom um, through a reliable system, system. And here you can create groups, wikis, discussion boards to encourage your students to think critically about your course and also to interact with each other's ideas. 
About feedback and peer review, during the course it is important to give feedback to your students since learning is a process that evolves through times. We thought about feedback fruits, which allows you to create streamlined teacher and peer feedback activities with higher engagement in any class sites. You can also use Flip um, to incorporate rubrics and to assess student work and provide feedback to students with video, audios or texts. And you can also use Google Forms to create surveys and quizzes. But another tool is Mentimeter. Uh, with Metameter, you can create interactive presentations that incorporate opportunities for student input, pooling and responses with multiple choices, word cloud, open-ended question, Q&A and so on. And also there is pool everywhere, which transforms one-sided presentation into two-way conversation with the audience. At the end, you can also create with all these tools, survey and quizzes, and uh, you can also use a gamification application such as Kahoot and Quizlet. We hope that this presentation is helpful for you and uh, we can also hope that you can now create your own digital toolbox. We can meet again in the next lesson.